How do they look? Like rabbit teeth. Beaver maybe, I don't know. It's big. I asked the dentist once why some people could brush and floss and gargle and spit all day and still get cavities. He looked at me and said, genetics, you're just doomed. You have horrible teeth. I don't, but maybe you do. If you're one of those people cursed with tooth decay problems, there might be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Turns out there's a new school of thought when it comes to cleaning your pearly whites or your sludgy yellows. The idea is simple. Stop trying to kill decay-causing bacteria and instead replace them with a harmless variety. Oral biologist Jeffrey Hillman has taken the strain of Streptococcus mutans that normally occurs in the mouth and genetically modified it so it doesn't produce tooth decaying acid when feeding on sugar. It crowds out the nasty bacteria and keeps your enamel intact. So does it work? I mean, is this for real? Can I eat a whole bag of caramels and not have to brush my teeth afterwards? Yeah, as far as I can tell, that's what it means. But don't start celebrating just yet. Remember I said a glimmer of hope because the bacteria is transgenic, meaning it uses genetic information from two different species and it has to go through FDA approval before it can be tested clinically on you and me. So wait, it's untested? Yes, kind of. Well, they did a clinical trial on two people. That's all the FDA would let them do. I mean, it had to be people with dentures who were healthy and under 55 and a pretty small segment of people. Man, now I gotta find my brush. Ew. The good news is the FDA has approved a much larger clinical trial, so it could come out soon. Soon meaning 30 years? 20 years. Does that mean I don't have to brush anymore? No, because if the clinical trials don't go well, it'll never be released. I mean, they do a whole lot of clinical trials at the FDA to make sure that it's okay, because you never know when a genetically modified little buggy is gonna take over the world, or cause some weird intestinal problem, or spread without your permission. Seriously, rampant, misbehaving, transgenic bacteria could be a huge problem. But that doesn't mean we won't try it. This isn't the only case where people have been modifying little buggies and commanding them to do our bidding. Researchers are using bacteria used in cheese production to fight off Crohn's disease and salmonella to attack tumors. Go salmonella! It had to be good for something, right? Who'd have thought the little creepy crawlies in chicken poop could cure your cancer? Tumors, right, whatever. You see, bugs can be beautiful. Those tiny microbiological demons we've grown to hate could turn into your newest, best symbiotic buddies. Hey, it could happen. What else has big teeth? Chipmunks? Rodents, mostly. They're straight, but horrible. Maybe get them filed down. I'd probably get more cavities.